So MassDOT wanted to build a statewide inventory of all their traffic signs. Um, and this is the work we do all the time. But on a statewide level, everything gets harder because you're dealing with so much data. So we wanted to use LiDAR to be able to do this and extract all that information into a single database. One of the main issues we needed to address on the project was using large amounts of LiDAR data. Uh, most pieces of software, when you are looking at LiDAR, you actually have to chop it up into very small bits or you can only import parts of it uh, and then it's very slow because it's trying to hold all of that information in memory. We teamed up with an Australian gaming company called Euclidean and they had a product called Geoverse. And Geoverse allowed us to render an unlimited amount of LiDAR data at one time so we could really solve this problem of doing a statewide collection as we could show all the data at a single time. So we worked with Geoverse to build an application programming interface where we could write our own piece of software to then connect to their software and sort of fill in all the voids that it left. So what that meant is that we could virtually drive down the roadway and look at LiDAR and imagery at the same time and use it to extract a roadway infrastructure like signs, manholes, catch basins into a database. I think the main obstacle was the, the huge amount of data we had. If you can imagine driving 6,000 miles of roadway, taking four 36 megapixel pictures every 30 feet, along with a million points of LiDAR every second of driving, you might have some idea of the immense amount of data that we have. So the way we dealt with this is we involved six different offices in the feature extraction for the signed database, and all working together, we were able to manage the data. The Hyrule project is complete. Uh, it took about two and a half years to finish. In the end, we were able to provide the client with a detailed database of all their signs, which they were very happy about. Uh, in addition, uh, mid-project, they requested that we also collect drainage structures and manholes, which we were able to use the same uh, information and modify our extraction software slightly to meet that goal. And then in addition, we were able to provide the client with all the high resolution LiDAR and the high resolution images. Uh, I'd say they were very happy with the product overall. So the next step for us with High Road is to leverage artificial intelligence tools to actually do automated feature extraction. So what that means is for a stretch of LiDAR, it's for Florian no longer needs to manually extract signs and manholes for you know a few weeks now we can use this machine learning algorithm to do that for us so now instead of spending weeks on end doing this tedious work you can now QA QC to make sure that our algorithm is working correctly I think it gave the client a much better understanding of like what assets are out there and in what conditions they are in and now they are able to use our database moving forward to really evaluate all the assets that are out there 